Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson one more time and I am coming back to you. This time we're going to continue talking about our proportions unit and ratios. So we're now talking about the constant of proportionality, aka or also known as the unit rate. Constant of proportionality, also known as the unit rate. Here are some vocabulary words that you should know. Constant is a specific and unique number. So a constant is a number. Variable, that's a letter or a symbol that represents some unknown quantity or some unknown number. Note the most common variables are X and Y, which we'll be talking about a lot in this video. A, B, and C are also other variables that you can use, but it's any letter or symbol. A proportional relationship is described by the set of ordered pairs, x and y. That's a coordinate that satisfies the equation y equals kx, where k is a positive constant, then k is called the constant of proportionality. So we talked about that, k, that equation, y equals kx, and we're now going to deal with that k because that's called the constant of proportionality. K, it is the value that describes the multiplicative relationship between x and y. In other words, what's the number that's being multiplied by x to equal to y? You have to figure that out. That's the trick to this. The constant of proportionality is also called the unit rate. We remember the unit rate. We talked about that some time ago in another video where the unit rate is the a uh, rate of one item. So the price of one item is what we're talking about, one unit. So the constant of proportionality and unit rate are the same. So here's a nice example. The dry cleaning fee for three pairs of pants is $18. What is the constant of proportionality? Well, I see we have dry cleaning here and we have three pairs of pants that are in there and it costs us $18. So we're looking for the constant of proportionality. And if you remember, that word constant of proportionality also means unit rate. Unit rate is the cost of one of those pairs of pants we're interested in. So that sounds a lot easier to deal with than constant of proportionality. So if you want to interchange those words, constant of proportionality and unit rate, feel free. So K would equal to, what is the cost of one pair of pants? Well, if the price is $18 for three pair, if we take our $18 and divide it by three, we'll get six, which is gonna be our price of one pair of pants, which we call K. So we're dividing the cost by the number of pairs that were in there, and that'll give us down to $6 for one pair of pants. So remember, y is equal to kx is the equation, where k is the constant multiplied by x. k would be the $6 multiplied by x number of pairs of pants. If we have three pairs of pants in there, multiplied by $6 per pair of pants, that'll give us $18 that we have to pay. So anytime you have an amount of pair of pants, it'll be priced $6 times that amount of pair of pants. That's why the formula kx equals y. So our answer for k is $6. So I hope you got that answer. Let's try another one. The graph represents the cost of candy pack purchased by a student. What is the constant of proportionality? Is it a2, b1, c, Three, and a half, 3 over 2, or D, 1 half. Well, let's look at our axis. We talked about uh, the proportional relationships with graphs and tables. You may want to review that video. So here we have our x-axis, and we have our y-axis. On the x-axis, that's the number of packs, and on the y-axis is the cost in dollars. So for one pack, it'll cost $2.
for two packs, it'll cost four dollars. For three packs, it'll cost six dollars, and four packs, it'll cost eight dollars. So I'm interested in the unit rate. Remember, the unit rate is the price of one pack of this candy. So one pack costs two dollars. So my answer for the constant of proportionality is going to be A, $2 for one pack. So using the chart, it's easy to find the cost constant of proportionality because it's just how much is one item. So it's by reading the value of the one item that you're purchasing. So be careful, make sure you Remember, the x-axis is on the horizontal line, and you're looking at the y value of that coordinate for your answer. So that's why it's A and not D. So remember, since we're here, a little review about proportional relationships in graphing. Remember, notice this is a relationship because it does go through the origin. If you reduce each one of these fractions, 1 over 2, 2 over 4, 3 over 6, 4 over 8, they all reduce down to 1 over 2. And that would be a nice way of checking to see if that is a relationship. So I hope you got something out of this video. Check your understanding. Make sure you review the video. Rewind it if you have to. If you're still uncertain, write down your questions and bring them in tomorrow. So here's a nice question we'll be going over tomorrow, so check it out. It's about a math test, so I hope you're ready to deal with it. So I hope everything was easy for you. We've come down to the end. So I'm Dr. Robinson. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your views. and. Hopefully you'll like the video. Bye-bye.